Hi, I'm Trilidor. Let's add three more towers, three walls, one entrance and one structure inside. Start by placing a line of double stone slabs and then two more on the sides. Repeat it for every side. Now I'm going to say that my voice might sound weak or weird, I guess I got a little bit sick. Now place one double stone slab on these corners. Place colored concrete powder on the sides. You can use your own palette, but you'll have to stick with it for the rest of the build. Now stone slabs on the sides and one polished underside in the middle. Place light grey concrete powder left and right for every side. Now use concrete with the same color of the powder below and trap doors at the outer block. No trapdoors here because this is where the walls of the castle will go. Place stone bricks on the corners for the floor and then extend the concrete blocks by one. White in the middle. Place four stone slabs for every corner, just like that. Four more, but now starting on these spots. Now two polished underside blocks for every corner. Place six oak wood fences here for the flag. Each tower will have a unique color from the initial palette. Now place two more blocks of concrete here according to the color below. Place stone brick slabs on the corners here. Now form a square of grass blocks. Close the sides with trapdoors. Finally, place a few flowers to make it more alive. I made three more towers with the same design, using a 9 block gap between them. Now create a line of stone slabs to connect the two towers. Extend by 4 here and then do the same. Now extend every corner like that. Finally, place two trapdoors here and do the same for the other side. Place three double stone slabs here and two more in the middle. After that, extend the top until you reach the other side. Now repeat the same process as before here and after that place three ladders. Place concrete powder here, matching the color at the back and then do the same for the other side. Now use light blue concrete powder to form this and then place one concrete block of the same color in the middle. Do the same here. Now I do the same as before for the inner side of the castle, but I don't extend the side blocks. Place grass here for the gardens. Now wrap them up with trapdoors.
white concrete here and then the same for this garden. Finally, place a few flowers. Place two more walls of the same design. Now use double stone slabs to form this shape on the ground. Do the same for this side. Now place two trapdoors here for both sides. Extend the corners like that. Place one more layer of double stone slabs here and for the other side. Now place two more double stone slabs on the three middle blocks of both sides. Connect them on the top like that. And place three iron trapdoors here. Use concrete powder here according to the color of this side. The same here. Now for the inner side use the light blue powder exactly like the walls. For the outer side, just extend the side blocks by one. Now use grass to create two gardens. One white concrete here and then wrap them up with trapdoors. Finally, place a few flowers. Place a grass block with trapdoors and one flower. And one more here. Now place one grass block and two trapdoors in every corner. Place double stone slabs like that. Now extend them until they reach 9 double stone slabs in height, or symbol 18 slabs. Place light grey concrete powder here and two more for the opposite side. Now place one polished on the side here and then three blocks of colored stained glass paint. Six here and for every other side. Now place two blocks of concrete with the same color as the glass and trapdoors. Do this for every side. Use white concrete for the floor. Place one block of colored clay here with a flower and trapdoors. After that, place six ladders. And one trapdoor here. Now for every corner, place a grass block with trapdoors and if you want, flowers.
Finally, at the bottom of everyone, place a double stone slab. Place three blocks of polished andesite on every corner. Fill the gaps here with concrete, with the color as below. Now one layer of double stone slabs here. Place a few more on these spots. Now 7 all good fences for the flag. Light blue wool here. After that, place a layer of stone slabs half a block lower. Now, as you can see, every side has specific colors to make it look more consistent and not random. Although, on the first look, it looks random. Anyway, I have more here. Now, thanks for watching. I appreciate it and I really like sharing my creations. It gives them a purpose and the whole YouTube process inspires me a lot.